So this is math six, lesson five dash five. Understand rates and unit rates. In this lesson, we'll be able to solve problems involving rates. So um, combining all the rates, uh, the ratios um, that we've learned so far, we're gonna use them to solve problems. Let's look at solve and discuss it. What is the cost of 10 bottles of fruit juice? Looking at the price over here, fruit juice buy four for $10. So if you buy four bottles of fruit juice, you get 10, you need to pay $10. Eight bottles would be $20 and so on. But how about 10 bottles of fruit juice? We might need to break the ratio down um, and then multiply it out. Okay, so in this case, if you try to make a table of ratio, cost versus bottles of fruit juice, we can start with um, four bottles, $10. Eight bottles, multiply by two, and multiply by two. Um, eight bottles, $20, $20 right? But we want to know how many it is for 10 bottles. So we might want to break our first ratio down into two bottles. So half bottles would be half the cost, $5. So you divide by two on both numbers. And then now two to 10, you can multiply by five. So five times five would be 25. And we can say 10 bottles, and we can say for sure now that 10 bottles of um, juice will cost $25. All right, focus on math practices. Mon Monica says if four bottles cost $10 and then two bottles cost $5 um, and eight bottles cost $20. So 10 bottles cost $5 plus $20. Is Monica correct? Can we use this reasoning, five plus 20? Yes, yes, because why? $5, you buy two bottles. $20, you buy eight bottles. So two plus eight is also 10 bottles. So you are buying $10, 10 bottles for $25. So she used the ratio to uh, 10 to four to find the equivalent ratio five to two and 20 to eight. And then if you add these to find the cost of 10 bottles, that should also work. All right, essential question. What are the rates and unit rates? What are rates and unit rates? Example one. Find equivalent rates. Here is the vocab. A rate is a special type of ratio that compares quantities with unlike units of measure. Okay, so if they're not like units of measure, um, that's that's still a rate. Um, that that can make a rate. If the race car continues to travel. At the same rate, how long will it take it to travel 25 kilometers? So rate cannot be 25 kilometers uh, to, you know, um, to the same thing, like 25 over five kilometers, right? It needs to have two different kinds of quantities. So a speed is always going to be a rate because speed tells you how many, how much distance you cover in a certain amount of time. So it's always going to be a different units of measures. You can find equivalent rates the same way as that you find equivalent ratios. So 10 kilometers in 10 minutes would also be in a ratio 10 kilometers over three minutes as a fraction. Okay, so that is our speed. And so you can use a ratio table to find rates that are equivalent to 10 over three kilometers per minute, but they do have different units, okay? Um, or you could also write it as a fraction and multiply the same um, number to get 
whatever you want to. So what do we want to get? 25 kilometers. So um, 10 kilometers need to be 25. So how, how many are you, how much are you multiplying? 2.5. So multiply 2.5 to 3, you get 7.5. So 7 point minute, 7.5 minutes um, for 25 kilometers. So it'll take the race car 7.5 minutes to travel 25 kilometers. That's really fast. Let's look at the try question. See if you can fill in the blanks your own and solve the, and solve the problem um, and come back when you're ready for answers. At the same rate, how long would it take the car to travel 60 kilometers? So we're using the same rate, 10, 10 kilometers per three minutes, but we want to know how long it uh, takes for it to travel 60 kilometers instead of 25. So 10 times six would be 60. You need to multiply the same number six for, uh, for three to get 18 minutes. And that is an equivalent ratio. So it'll take the car how many minutes? 18 minutes to travel 60 kilometers. There you go. Convince me. Sal draws a double number line diagram at the, at the right. He says it shows at this, rate, at this rate, the race car will travel 35 kilometers in 10.5 minutes. Critique Saul's reasoning. Is he correct? So critique Saul's reasoning means if he's correct, explain why he's correct. If he's not correct, um, explain why he's not correct. Is he correct? 35 kilometers in 10.5 minutes at, uh, at this rate, 10 kilometers per five, 20 kilometers per six, 30 kilometers per nine, right? Three times three, three times two, 10 times two, 10 times three. And then 10 times four is 40, three times four is 20. What about this one? 10 times 3.5, is 35, is three times 3.5, 10.5, yes. Three times 3.5 is 10.5. So they are equivalent ratio. 10 over three is equivalent to 35 over 10.5. So yes, he is correct. Um, they are, equivalent ratios. Example two, compare quantities in two ways. Okay, you need to know how to compare them in two ways. Harvest Markle Market sells a crate of Fuji apples for $12. What are two different unit rates that could represent the situation? Okay, we got a rate here. How many Fuji apples for um, $12? A crate, okay? We don't know how many apples there are in a crate, but it's going to, all the crates gonna be uh, weighing 15 pounds, okay? So we can use 15 pounds to measure um, how many apples. And so that's going to cost $12 per crate. So 15 pounds per $12 is our rate. And we want to find equivalent ratios depending on the situation. The unit rate, however, what is the unit rate? Unit rate is whenever your denominator is one. So your denominator, our denominator here is a dollar. So we want to find the unit rate, which means we want to find how many pounds uh, there are in one dollar, okay? Denominator, denominator has to be one. So if we use equivalent ratio 1.25 over one, uh, we know the apple um, is gonna cost one dollars when um, for every 1.25 pounds. Um, but the unit rate in dollars per pound. So now the pound has to be 
one. Okay, pounds per dollar, dollar has to be one. Unit rate means you need to have denominator equals to one. So whatever your denominator is, that needs to be one. Unit rate in dollars per pound is 0 0.8 dollars per one pound. So you need to know that which one is in the bottom, okay? In the denominator. Uh, let's try the try question. See if you can find the unit rates um, in both ways. Come back when you're ready for answer. A recipe for scrambled eggs uses two tablespoons of milk for every three eggs. What are two unit rates that could represent this recipe? Okay, we have a ratio, two tablespoons of milk for every three eggs. Okay. So if we have milk per egg, we want to make one in the denominator. So how many tablespoons of milk do we need for one egg? That is the unit rate in tablespoon per tablespoon of milk per egg, number of eggs. That's going to be three divided by three is one. So two divided by three is two over three tablespoons of milk. And it's totally fine to leave a fraction inside a fraction. It just means you have a compound fraction and that's fine. Okay, what about another unit? There's another unit rate you could write. How about if you write three eggs per two tablespoons of milk? What is our unit rate for um, eggs in eggs per tablespoon of milk? Well, you need one tablespoon of milk. So how many eggs do you need when you want to use one tablespoon of milk. You divide it two by two. So three divided by two is 1.5. So three over two eggs per one tablespoon of milk is another way of writing your unit rate. You have two types of unit rates. All right, that was example two. Let's look at example three. Use unit rates to solve problems. So here is the official definition of the unit rate. A unit rate is a rate in which the comparison is to one unit. Remember, it's comparison to one unit, which means you want whatever rate you're comparing to, to one unit. So your denominator, again, has to be one. Um, how far could a family travel in eight hours if they maintain the same rate of speed here? A family bikes 25 miles in five hours. So first you're gonna find the unit rate in miles per hour and you can use the unit rate to find how far the family could travel in eight hours, okay? So miles per hour, 25 over five is your rate. But your unit rate has to be how many miles you go per one hour. So five divided by five is one. 25 divided by five is five miles. Your unit rate is five miles per hour. So use this to find how far the family could travel in eight hours. You're gonna multiply by eight, one times eight. So five times eight would be equivalent ratio which is 40 miles, okay? So your answer is 40 miles. The family could travel 40 miles in eight hours. So this is why it is, why the unit rate is important. Sometimes your, your rates um, are not exactly mm, in, the, in the right multiples or the right factors of whatever information you wanna get. So you wanna find a unit rate so that it's easier to find um, different, uh, different answers for different situations. Okay, so let's try the last try it. Um, see if you can do it by yourself, come back when you're ready. 
Okay, a canoeing club travels 78 miles in three days. That is a race, 78 eight miles in three days. How far could they travel in five days if they maintain the same speed? Notice three and five, they're not exactly multiples of each other, right, or factors. So you want to find a unit rate first. Three days to one day. You want to find how many miles they go in one day. Three divided by three is one. So 78 divided by three is 28. 20, wait. 26, I'm sorry. Okay. And then you want to use this unit rate to figure out how many miles they go in five days. So one times five is five. So 26 times five is 130 miles. And so how far could they travel in five days if they maintain the same speed? 130 miles is going to be your answer. All right, that was our lesson. So we learned a rate, right? A rate compares quantities with unlike units of measure. And unit rate is when you have, when you compare, when you compare a quantity to one unit of, of, of another quantity, and when you have one as a denominator. So that was lesson five, understanding rates and unit rates. We'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Bye.